I get questions all the time. When are the four horsewomen going to cross over into the squared circle? What is your response when people ask you that? Um, I have some business to take care of in my uh, current uh, occupation, <laughs> but it's definitely something that's in the back of my mind. It's not something that I have written off. Uh, I would love to do it. I think it's just like an awesome sport and uh, would be a lot of fun to cross over and and you know try my hand at that but uh, I'm not I'm not trying to get too you know too crazy with it right now because I have so much going on with the fighting and, and UFC. But it's easy to daydream about it, that kind of stuff. It is. Especially it's, when you're watching on Monday and Fridays. Yes and when you're interacting with them I mean a lot of these people we've like uh, Natalia Hart we've trained with her we talked to her about these things. How was that training um, with Natalia Hart? Oh my god it was awesome like it was uh, she it was a really neat perspective to see the things that she was really good at and how easily she could show it to us and how easily we picked it up mm -hmm. um, just being able to flow with her and have like little mini mock matches and um, and then being able to show her what we do and actually getting her to find ways to incorporate what we do to make it look to make what she does better even you know like so she was kind of taking from us and we were taking from her it was a nice little exchange of uh of knowledge and it was a lot of fun and i definitely can't wait to do it again natalia hart's got to be one of the most physical divas in pro wrestling do you think that she would have the ability to successfully cross over in mma if she if she wanted to i mean i think anybody that that does pro wrestling if they they're athletic they understand you know a lot of the training that it takes and um, I think anybody that puts their mind to it and focuses solely on it can definitely, you know, it's definitely p possible. Um, it's especially a heart family. Member. Yeah, I mean, she's already she was brought up in the dungeon. Like she knows what heart training is. She knows what real training is. Um, and it's just a matter of just changing your focus and, and changing gears into and putting your energy into something else. And obviously, she's successful in the the realm that she chose. So I feel like she could be successful in any any realm in this in that industry. You know what I mean? So. Um, it's just about what you're focused on at the moment. Same for me, you know. That's how I feel. It's like I'm I'm totally focused on on the MMA portion and the UFC and all this. But I feel like if I've switched my energy and my effort and my focus into into uh, pro wrestling, it would definitely be something I could pick up. So I feel like it goes both ways. What would Jessamine Duke's finishing move be? Oh my God, for sure it would have to be. I would. I mean, I would be one of the one of the bigger girls right on the roster so I would have like a big move set big power moves so it would either be some sort of just killer slam or some sort of I don't know like a big high-flying kick off the ropes or something like a big head kick off the ropes or something like that maybe um, but it would have to be a, a, a big move you know because I'm, I'm I would obviously be one of the bigger chicks would you want to come over as a face or a heel Ooh, I feel like being heels are so much more fun. Like they just everything they do is so much more fun, and um, they're not as inhibited by you know they can they can be more themselves. They can be a little bit more honest. Because honestly, I feel like that's what a heel really is. Is they're just a little bit more honest with everyone, and they don't sugarcoat things. And I like that. I prefer that. That's why I like what I do is because I can just say what I feel and say how I feel about the fight. I don't have to sugarcoat it, you know, and, and that's okay because I'm going to go in there and you can settle it. So I think if I was going to the WWE, would, I'd probably lean more on, on the heel side, you know, but still try to win everyone over with my adorable southern accent. Well, here's a question for you. <laughs> Eight-man tag match, the four horsewomen versus who? Who would you want your stable to compete against? The Bellas and who would they, I don't know. I'd love to, I would love to beat up the Funkadactyls. Maybe the Bellas and the Funkadactyls together versus us. I think we would just smash them. And then, and then that could be us establishing ourselves in the division and ready to like, you know, go for their, go for their belt. In, in your eyes, who do you think is the, the cream of the crop in the Divas division right now? I think Natalia Hart is the, the best Diva in the division period. I think she um, has, like, I don't know if you've seen it, but her match with Charlotte that was in NXT was unbelievable. It's one of the best, you know, women's wrestling matches I've ever seen. Uh, I think that she is one of the most experienced, one of the most skilled, and, and puts on the best matches. So she's definitely my favorite. But there's a lot of good Divas. I think Paige is a good, uh, you know, she's a good champion. She puts on good matches, and I like watching her wrestle but Natalia definitely I think is the best. How bad do you want to see CM Punk return? Oh my god, so bad. When I first started getting into wrestling, CM Punk was huge. So automatically I was like a huge CM Punk fan. I, I loved every time he got on the mic, I loved it. And then next thing you know, he was just gone. It was just 
like just disappeared and like I'm new to wrestling like I've only been watching it about a year so I'm I'm like oh he'll be back he'll be back he'll be back and I'm just waiting you know every week patiently and it's it sucks so I, I would at Wrestlemania I was like he's gonna come back he's gonna do it he's gonna do it and he didn't come back so I want to see I want to see punk come back I loved watching him wrestle his some of his matches are that he put on are like my favorite of all time uh, so I think that I think he needs to come back I don't think he needs to be done yet